Following on from the Quickfire WPF screencast, I want to show you some of the tablet and inking capabilities of Windows Presentation Foundation. So if we click here inside of Editing Modes, you'll see that this one line of XAML is able to create an ink environment where I can write basic text. So what about if we have another line here, this Erase by Stroke? This enables me to actually erase individual parts of an image. I can do things such as um, overlay text over the top of an image and then select that text and move it out, scale it and move it back in over the top of the image. So what about gestures? Here we can go down, right, left, up and let's bring this all together. So let's have a look at this vector example. Here I can zoom right in on the uh, text and we can see the smooth lines and the clarity of the image, zoom out, put my gestures in, rotate it to the right, flick it off the screen. So what about recognition? If we have a look at shape recognition, here I can draw some shapes and the platform will identify these and move these around. There we go. What about character recognition? Some lowercase letters, letter A, about an AND signal, capital letters, digits, and the platform will detect these and turn those into text. So how could you use this in a business example? Well let's have a look at this form. Here you'll see a vector scaled form so we can zoom right in and right out. We get a little scroll bar here on the right to look through the form. Then I could do things such as ink inside of this form. So I could put my name in there, put my department and my ID number. And the platform will recognise that text and turn it into type text that we could submit, say, via XML. Let's have a look at reading. Well, if you had a look at Quickfire WPF screencast, you'd see the flow document and you'd see these reading controls. So we can, you know, zoom in and zoom out and see the text flow over the screen accordingly. But what I'm also able to do is if I wanted to select a section of text, I could select a section here, and then I could make an ink note with that. So I could say, this is cool. And then that ink note would be stuck with this text. So if I zoom out, I could then highlight over this area of text and see my ink note, my annotation attached. So what about media? Let's have a look at media. Here we've got a live video. And I can ink over the top of this video. And then if I publish this video, what I'm able to do is play this video back with the ink notations. So what this is doing is effectively live rendering the video, layering the annotations over the top of the media file and playing it back in real time. It's very cool. So what about 3D? Now I just want to apologise now, this is a lot smoother when you're using it on the machine. The uh, jerkiness has been created from the screen capture application. So I can zoom in and out, I could change the image on my postcard. I could rotate on an X axis, I could also rotate on a Y axis here as well, or the Z. So what I might like to do is write on the back of the card, so I could write here, hello mum. And then if we flick the card over, you can see the text on the back over here. Now this really comes into its own when we start animations. And you'll see the text rendered in real time. So if I write up here, you'll see this text appearing on the back of the, the card during the animation. And then as it turns around, I can also do things such as changing the image. You see the image change here. And let's have a look at that um, text again. So if I just write another one here, awesome, you'll see that text appear. Zooming in, zooming out while it's animating. This really is some pretty cool stuff. Hopefully I've introduced to some of the things that you may like to do using inking in this platform.